Hi, I'm WV Running Dawn. Today I'm making this video to show the uh, the Hal Higdon training plan that I got from my marathon book. And uh, there's a few training plans in here. There's training plans for half marathon and full marathons. But today I'm just going to do the half marathon training plan because that's what I've been training for. And some of this, uh, a few of these aren't in, well, uh, in the uh, book. You can go to howhigdon.com and you can get the, the uh, full, uh, all the training plans. And the ones that are in the book are going to be the, uh, they're going to be the Novus Intermediate and Advanced Plan. And on the website, he also has a walk training plan and he has a Novus 1 and 2 instead of just having one Novus. And Novus 2 is in between Novus and Intermediate. But um, I just want to say a little bit about uh, each training plan and uh, kind of explain some of the differences between one or the other. That's what this video is going to be about. Um, like I said, he has the walking plan. He has Novus 1, Novus 2, Intermediate, and Advanced. And the walking plan is uh, its five days of, uh, of walking. You have uh, strolls and you have easy walking. And the workouts are 30 to 60 minutes or they are 3 to 10 miles. And because these are, this training plan will be for somebody that is basically wanting to walk a half marathon. Uh, I don't think it requires any training at all besides if somebody that's never walked that distance before then this is a good plan to follow so that you can uh, get your body used to walking that distance. And then there's, a, there's Novus 1 which he says is for true beginners which would be somebody that has uh, never Never, maybe never ran a 5K or never, uh, never uh, ran a 10K or definitely never went 13 miles for a half marathon. And he does say that you should be able, before you start this plan, the Novus One, you should be able to at least go for three miles. So you should have a little bit of running in your background to actually go three miles without stopping. And that's the running because there's on this pen is going to be um, there's three weekday runs and there's there's a long run that makes four run, running days and then you have one cross training day where you can do like cycling or uh, swimming and or even he considers a uh, cross training as uh, even a walking day instead of running you can walk for 30 minutes or whatever and the mileage starts of the Novus One plan. The mileage starts at three miles. Uh, you go from you go from three miles to your on your first uh, week, and you have a four mile long run at the end of that week. And then your long runs will gradually go from four miles up to ten miles, which would be the week before your half marathon. Now, the Novus Two plan is uh, it's it's much like the Novus One plan except. The mileage starts a little bit higher and the long runs start a little bit higher. Well, it still starts at three miles for the, the weekly run, but it advances uh, a little bit quicker than the Novus 1 plan. And the Novus 2 plan, your uh, long runs are you go from 4 to 12 miles on the long runs for the Novus 2. And that 12 miles is before the week before you do your half marathon. And all, all these are 12 week plans, by the way. And Novus 2 has, it also has four running days. It has three weekday runs along with one, uh, one long run. And it inc the long runs increase from four to 12. And some of the, uh, some of the midweek runs on the Novus 2 plan are done at race pace which he describes as what the pace that you are expecting to run in your half marathon. So if you want to finish at uh, a two, 
a two hour or lower uh, half marathon, then you want your pace to be close to nine minutes a mile. Not too much over, but you can get less than if you if you are at a better pace, like 8.50s, then you'll have a better a marathon or half marathon uh, run under two hours. And um, also the Novus 2 plane has two rest days. It has one cross training day and uh, it doesn't have a specific uh, day that he says to do strength training but you can always do that inside your plan anywhere and then you can uh, just don't just don't do some heavy stuff on your legs it's going to worry out if it's you know you don't want to do your long run and then uh, do a leg day or do a leg day the long run because all of his plans are designed so that you have a well, the Novus 1 and 2 plan, they're designed so that you have a rest day before your long run and after your long run. So whichever day you choose to do your long run, just make sure that you plan to have a rest day before and a rest day after. Now, the intermediate plan, it's more for experienced runners and uh, people that may have already ran a, uh, a half marathon before or a few times and they want to improve their time. And there's a few ways that he does this through speed work. And the speed work that he does is uh, tempo runs, intervals, and these can be these are easier done on a track. But if you have a uh, a watch that you can track your distance on, you can also do it like that if if that's the way that you are familiar with doing it. And um, there's one there's one rest day in the intermediate plan because you have a day that's focused on stretching. And strength training and also um, also the long runs go from 5 to 12 miles it's just like the other plan it goes up to 12 but it starts at 5 so you're increasing your mileage a little bit faster than you are in the Novus 1 or the Novus 2 plan and um, there's also uh, a strength training day involved in the uh, intermediate plan and like I said you can always move your days around if you want to uh, now the uh, there's also pace runs done on the intermediate plan and like I said that's that's uh, runs that you do that you plan to finish or plan to do during your uh, your your uh, half marathon so see uh, for the intermediate he, he offers or he suggests that if if you can't dedicate your your uh, your, if your schedule where you can't be dedicated to five days to uh, if you can't be dedicated to five to seven days of training then you might want to go down to the intermediate or one of the uh, you might want to go down to one of the novus plans they, they might be better for you if you if you can't fit in those extra training days um, and it, and also, if you if you're not ready to do speed work, and if you don't want to put the uh, the extra effort in for the speed work, then going down to the Novus plan is much better for you also. And like I said, the long runs are five to twelve miles, and rest days or easier days before and after. Now, for the advanced plan, that would be for the most experienced runners who are really wanting to do get improvements done by speed work and also intermediate uh, or this also the advanced plan also uh, adds in heel training now I'm not, I think his plan is uh, it's not only heel training but it's uh, heel repeats and it's uh, very similar to the intermediate plan with at the added uh, heel training and the one of the main one of the big differences I see in here are there there are six or seven training days for for some of the weeks, and there's pace runs like the other plans. But these, uh, when it comes to the long run, the long runs are based in minutes, such as uh, you might have to run 60 to 90 minutes, or it'll tell you uh, to run for two hours is one of the also ones that it does. So. Um, one of the things that he, he would suggest on here is uh, on your long runs, every, every run is, he states in his book here that every run 
is an easy run. Well, not that you necessarily go real slow, but the main focus is to get your body used to being on your feet and uh, make to get it used to uh, moving around and getting the uh, the effects of uh, the pounding on the knees or the hips. And if uh, if you uh, run out everything like it's like it's your marathon, then you're going to wear yourself out pretty good, and you might be uh, get you might start to feel sluggish. You might feel like you're overtrained. So you know what you want to make sure that your your uh, even your long runs are maybe slower than your weekly run weekday runs. And um, when uh, when you do have the race pace days or the tempo days, those are the days that you want to go a little bit harder than you would on your long run or your regular weekday runs. Now, I wanted to uh, also let you know what training plan I picked and why I picked it. I'm going to make a separate video of what I chose and why I chose it, so if you, if you want to see that, you can uh, uh, just subscribe to my channel and be watching for that video because it will be coming out soon. And uh, should be shortly after this after this video is uh, put on my channel, so you can check that out next. Thanks for watching. Uh, like it, like the video, comment, subscribe, or if you're not already subscribed, and let me know what you think. Let me know if you're planning to do one of these uh, plans, and uh, if you plan on getting the book, if you have the book, or if you read it, you can go to uh, uh, Amazon. It's where I got this one from. You can pick up the book. And, and uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Like the video, comment, and let me know what you think, what you're doing with your training plans. And then uh, I'll get back with you with any questions you may have. Thanks.